Today I'll be showing you how you can edit videos from Final Cut Pro on your Mac using an external hard drive. So I have a 128 gig MacBook Pro and that is not a lot of storage for editing video and I do a lot of video editing on the go. So I went ahead and picked up a Western Digital external hard drive. This is two terabytes, it's this one right here. And I wanted to uh, edit video uh, using my external hard drive. It's USB 3, it's gonna be fast enough and uh, the two terabytes is gonna be more than enough uh, to store all the media and stuff that I need and uh, also back up some of my older projects. So here's how I did it. I opened up Final Cut Pro and uh, you can see here I have my local library. So let's say I don't have my hard drive with me. I wanna do a quick edit. This is what I can use it for. But here is my external library. Now you won't see this when you open up Final Cut Pro. I think your local library will be named uh, something like Untitled or Macintosh HD. That is your local library, don't touch that. But now you're gonna create a new Final Cut Pro library. To do this, go to File, choose Open Library, choose Other, and then click on New name whatever you want, and then choose the location to be your external hard drive. Now you have a brand new Final Cut Pro library that is stored on the external hard drive. So whenever you open this now, all the media from this library will open uh, from the hard drive and not your local drive. But now that you have this, uh, where is all your media gonna go? So we have this external drive over here now, but if you import media, it's still gonna go into the local drive on your computer. So what you're gonna do is go to File, and go to Library Properties, and this will open up over here. It says Final Cut Pro Library External, or whatever you named it uh, for the external drive. It'll say the name up there. It'll say however many uh, terabytes it is, or however many gigabytes it is. And uh, you can see storage locations. Now this is what's uh, gonna be crucial for you when you're choosing where your media goes. So when you import your media into Final Cut Pro, uh, if you want to run Final Cut Pro completely from your external drive, uh, you're gonna change these media location settings as follows. So choose media, go to choose, and then choose your external drive. Uh, choose motion content in just the motion templates folder because uh, you're not gonna be doing that a lot, or at least I don't. Uh, cache external, the same thing as you've done before, and backups, the same location. So that means media, all the cache files, and all the backups are gonna be stored on the external drive. So just keep in mind how much storage you do have uh, on your drive, so you might want to, you might not want to store backups on here if you don't have that much storage on your drive. I have two terabytes available to me, so I'll be storing all the backups on this drive. So now, guys, we are completely running Final Cut Pro uh, from an external drive, my two terabyte Western Digital external hard drive. So you can see here we have the local drive, like I said before, and my external drive, and we changed all of our storage location settings. So now all the media is gonna be stored on the hard drive. So just to show you that this did work, I'm gonna exit out of Final Cut Pro here. I'm gonna eject uh, my hard drive here. This might take a little while, there we go. Let's open back up Final Cut Pro, and if this did work, you should see uh, the only library that loads is our local one. See, Final Cut Pro library local. So if you do eject your external drive, it will not load up. Uh, it will not load up the other library there. So that is how you can uh, choose a different library for Final Cut Pro. Very useful if you have a very low storage computer like I do, only 128 gigabytes. So uh, yeah, go ahead and pick up a hard drive. I found it was worth the investment just to store all my media on and uh, do my editing off of a hard drive. So leave a comment down below if this helps you out. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Mike and I'll see you in the next one.